Welcome back guys, I'm in my Subai Subai chair. Check this out, 499 from the market. Absolutely fast, fantastic these plastic chairs are in Thailand. Uh, I'm not selling these chairs, don't worry. Uh, if you just joined us to this channel, this is about retirement in Thailand and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Legends, right, welcome back. Today we're talking about things you should stop doing in retirement when you come to Thailand or in general, basically. Uh, but especially in Thailand. And they get more and more controversial the further I go down. So let's start with the first one. Point number five. This is a bit controversial, but taking your top off when you're like over 50, I think is a big no-no. And I'll tell you some reasons why, guy. You know, I think 99% of males over 50 have not got a great body, if I'm honest. You know, even if they work out, it's still very, very hard to get, you know, unless you taking massive supplements and steroids to get a pretty good body after 50. It is extremely difficult. I'm kind of testimony to that. I work out all the time and I've still got flab and stuff on me. Yeah, maybe my diet's not 100%. No, this is, I think, when you get over 50, you've got to realise you're not a Playboy model everywhere. You're not like you were when you were 20 or even 30, you know. I think when you get over 50, you know, I think just keep it on. It looks kind of more... It looks better, to be honest with you. It looks, you know, you can still look really cool, you know, shorts and a nice T-shirt or, you know, a nice polo shirt or, you know, a shirt. But just taking it off reveals too much for most guys. Yeah, there is the 1% who are freaking, like, crazy gym every day and eat crazy healthy, you know. So there are some exceptions, but I think the vast majority of us guys over 50 have a bit of a dad bod, so, you know... I would keep it away, over 50. Uh, my dad always used to say this when I was back in the UK. It was like, you know, I can't understand older guys who take the shirts off. You know, you should, at a certain age, you know, keep your shirt on because it looks better, to be honest with you. It's more flattering to you. It's not very flattering if you do take your top off at that age. Number four, okay, drinking. Now, I think drinking's okay in moderation and beer is absolutely fine but one thing you should absolutely knock on the head when you get over 50 is nailing spirits now i don't mean a little shot of whiskey you know at night before you go to bed or something like that that's fine you know a little bit you know but you know who drinks a little tod like this apart from my old man you know who doesn't really drink at all but you know he's, he does have the odd tod of whiskey you know sometimes but i mean like this uh, you know, not many guys would do that. They're drinking, you know, three or four shots of whiskey or whatever, you know, or a big glass like this, you know, JD on rocks or something, you know, JD on ice. So it's something to consider. Most people say they die from the spirits, not the beer. You know, you can pretty much drink beer right into your old age. But beware, man, beer gives you a beer gut. So and watch out. And there's a lot of them beer guts in Patia. So, yeah, maybe you need to watch out for that one too. Something to maybe avoid. The beer and the spirits, but mainly the spirits, man. The spirits are what, the ones that really can kill you, man. So stay away from them, bad boys. Number three, you see a lot of people doing this in Thailand in some of the tourist areas, just sitting in the bar every day. I mean... Is it really a good pastime just to sit in the bar every day, or all day, or even for a few hours? It seems a bit boring to me just sitting there. It'd probably be nicer just to sit on the beach, like, if you want to sit there. If you want to sit and have a beer, just sit on the beach, I would, you know? Uh, you know, you're experiencing, you know, a bit of the ocean view and, you know, people walking past, maybe a few ladies or two walking past as well. It's probably a better view, to be honest, than in the bar where you're just going to see some other hairy ass men in there, probably. Uh, so, you know, uh, probably not a wise move after 50 if you're still doing this. Maybe you need to get your life in check. Number two, this is probably one of the funniest ones. You know, people just make up stories in Thailand. I mean, I've met so many expats here over the last 11 years. And the amount of bullshit I've heard is unbelievable. It's just like, you're obviously lying, mate. You know, I'm not stupid, you know. I've heard so many stories about, oh, I'm in the SAS. Oh, I used to be oh, I fought in Iraq. I did this, I did that. I'm like... No, you didn't, mate. You didn't do any of these things. You worked at Burger King as a manager, probably, or something like this, or you worked at McDonald's, or, you know, you worked in a factory, or you drove a van. It's like, there's nothing wrong with these jobs. It's like, why not just say you're normal? Why make up these crazy stories? I hear all these kind of ridiculous things, and I don't know if people think, you know, I'm so gullible or stupid, but, you know... You know, most people don't have that exciting lives. You know, most people are not in the SAS. If they are in the SAS and they tell you in the SAS within five minutes of meeting them, they're obviously never been in the SAS, you know. You're not going 
you start talking about that openly straight away to someone you've just met five minutes and normally them guys are like the really small ones in the corner you can't even tell the you would never dream they were in the SAS probably anyway. Uh, you know, it's the ones hidden away. They were like that anyway. So it's just like so silly. So yeah, something when you get over 50, uh, curb down on them stories. Yeah, exaggerate a little bit is okay, but don't make up blatant lies. It's just ridiculous. And the last one, really important one, is a bit, hits a nerve with me because I see a lot of guys doing this in Thailand when they get older and they sit in there burning up all patches bright red the back's red you know it's like well i said before about putting your shirt on you should put your shirt on for another reason as well uh, you know not to get sunburned uh you know the amount of sunburn i see is just ridiculous yeah it's good to get a bit of sun but jeez man get the cream on cover up sometimes get away from that sun sometimes in the middle of the daytime i think yeah it is a mistake a lot of people make when they get older they get a bit crazy when they come to thailand and they just rip the shirts off and forget how hot it is here i mean the amount of thai guys you see with shirts off is God, like less than one percent and all of them are really young anyway if they're, they're doing that you know anybody over a certain age would never never see them take their shirts off very rarely in thailand guys take their shirts off because they don't want to get sunburned you know uh, they're normally covering up with long sleeves and they would never even sit in the sun for very long anyway you sit in the sun a tiny bit and they're like god it's too hot i get out the sunlight you know uh, so yeah, there's some pointers for you guys, things you should stop doing maybe when you come to Thailand. I mean, you're free to carry on doing these things, it's just my opinion. What do you think guys? Have you heard any of these crazy stories in Pattaya or Bangkok in some of the bars? Some people talk to you, you know, when you meet them for the first time. I mean, I've heard lots and lots and have you seen these things happen in Thailand? I mean, hopefully you have and you put them in the comments for us guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it, a bit of fun today, not too serious. And we'll see you next time guys. Take it easy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share guys, helps out the channel, trying to grow the channel as always, you know, it is difficult nowadays, YouTube's so big, there's so many different videos, so many people trying to do YouTube these days, you know, uh, so give us a subscribe and a like, thanks guys.